Hi, welcome to the third part of Up and Running with Docker on AWS Instance. In this video, we'll be learning how to pull Docker images from Docker Hub and how to get started with Docker. Let's move to the default location and let me switch user. Okay, now we are Ubuntu. Okay. The first thing is first thing you need to aware is Docker provides all its commands and help. You can find its help by going to Docker and again help. Okay. Here are the Docker help commands. The first thing we'll be using is search. We can search for Docker images using this command line tool as well. Docker search. It asks for an image which you want to search. Docker search Apache. Sorry. Docker search Tomcat warning failed to find default registry and point for demo on cannot connect to the okay let me find out what's going wrong here okay I found out what's the cause of it it's because we are into ubuntu we cannot run docker search directly so we need to add a command called sudo docker search tomcat okay here are the list of all tomcats the first one which is official okay is maintained by docker itself these others are all by different different vendors okay this this shows how you can use docker search or else you can go to the web based one and search tomcat over here it shows official the same thing and you have all the versions that are available over here and the basic how to run all the documentation given very nicely okay now let's download few images and let's get started let's follow this tutorial this this documentation for an idea okay initially you can see all the images by going to docker images cannot connect ah shit i'll move to sudo user after after down the after this i'll show you how to grant sudo permissions to this user we'll be adding this ubuntu user to uh, admin admin sudo group so that you can execute without giving the sudo command in fact let's do it now I have that command listed here I'll show you mm. give me a second Currently I couldn't find it but I'll surely inform you by the end of this. For now let's go with sudo. Clear sudo docker run. Okay. There are two modes of running a docker. Okay. One is interactive mode. Okay, let's download an image first. Sudo 
docker run ubu and u okay run to 14 14.04 when you this is the image you want to download call in in the version you want to download okay when you hit this it will search for docker images first if is it available locally or else it will pull from the docker hub repository sorry unable to resolve ip see now it's pulling the size of ubuntu is just 65.7 mb it means it does it doesn't include the whole kernel the whole kernel of linux is already there in docker engine so it only downloads the library files and the binary files that are required for running this is the whole meat and sauce of containers now let's hit the same command docker image yes sudo docker image yes see it shows there is one repository by name ubuntu okay let me move into sudo and i let me go to root now i can execute docker commands directly okay now let's see one one command each command okay we use docker ps processes all the docker processes that are running will be shown here currently there are no processes okay let's try to run one process docker images okay we have ubuntu we'll try to run docker run okay there are two modes of running one using a demo mode which will be run in background and the other using a uh, terminal interactive mode in which we can interact for demo we type iphone d for demo for terminal interactive iphone ti let's go with interactive mode for now iphone ti and we give the name of the image you be you and you you want to call in the version okay this one call an iphone and in which form for now we'll be using bash see now we are into the container which runs ubuntu this one we are into its root let me list the files see this is complete whole lot operating system it's inside a container remember to come out of container ev every time without killing the process we need to click control p followed by control q will be out of it i always get the clear spelling wrong okay now let's see which are the processes that are running docker ps now it shows see we have this is the container id image and the command we used command line argument we gave it was up 43 seconds ago it was created sorry it was created 44 seconds ago and up and from the last 43 seconds and this names when you don't specify a name while creating a docker image it will give a random name by itself these ports we'll be getting to this ports in a little while uh, for now we have this okay let's see how to kill this container or delete this container uh, docker provides one command docker okay before that let me show a few things docker ps we have seen docker iphone a will show all the killed processes also docker ps iphone a see we ran this and it was exited but it shows all the processes that are currently running and even exited processes as well okay we did not supply this bash command so it crashed for the first time when we ran next time we supplied it it was running so it this thing will be handy if you want to see all the processes